Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a sherry. Call me like a sherry. The boy done switched up on you. Oh, baby, I need some salt. Oh, I got it right here. Thank you, sugar. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys know, if this is your very first time on this channel, run that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Besides the word subscribe, so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to the Spread the Gurkha family. Now that you're part of it, there's some things that we do. And we do everything that to help us grow. Those things are comment, 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 like, share, and go take for the team. Come in like a share and go take for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't get to come in like a share. Okay, you guys, check this out. We're going to pray. We're going to get to the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? The beans in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. The He is, you guys, a little bit has diet math to do with him again today. I also got my lips hot sauce. And if you like your bottle, little way up top screws right in blue. Hit that link and right there you can get your lips hot sauce. And your lips burn. Okay, also here, y'all, I got me some Luzan. That's who we're going to be using. Okay, you guys, today for the food. Baby, we got my favorite, some pig ears over here. We got some steamed broccoli over here. And we got our potato, uh, tomatoes. The broccoli is going to be the first bite. Here we go. Y'all want a bite? Get your bite. Mmm. 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 And because I can't wait, that's gonna get into these ears, honey. That's gonna get into them. For sure, for sure, for sure. Mmm. Y'all, I must admit to y'all, pig ears is my favorite meat. Y'all already know that. It's my favorite meat. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I done dropped the piece and get it back up here. Hold up. I must admit, y'all, it's about 1 1 30 in the morning. <laughs> hey. Yes, indeed. It's about 1 1 30 in the morning. And I guess you would say, well, Lips, why is you up eating pig ears at 1 1 30 in the morning, honey? I told y'all, if y'all watch these videos, I was going to do the work because I want this 100K. And the only way I'm going to get it is to keep on putting out these videos. So here they come. Let's get us some tomatoes over here, honey. Let's get them over here. Y'all know how we do it. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Mm-hmm. Get a little juice up there. That should be sufficient for now. Mm-hmm. It should be. Let me set them over here to the side so I can get to them like I want to, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let's get our Luzanne. Y'all, my stomach is still not perfect yet, but it's getting there. So I don't want to eat my hot sauce right now and disturb it because y'all know my hot sauce is very, very hot. It really, really is. And I don't want to disturb my stomach right now, but I got to have some hot sauce for these. Okay. Plus, I grew up on uh, Louisiana. I grew up on Louisiana, honey. Yes, I did. I already took... <sighs> two tongs before I got started. So let's get to eating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Y'all ready? I am. Mm-hmm. I ain't had nothing in a minute, so. But anyway, y'all, like I said, y'all, it's about 1.30. I don't know, between 1 and 2 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Mm-hmm. But the show, the show must go on. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And, mm. 
Mm. Because of what? Mm. We're going to talk about the thing. Mm. Mm. I felt like this was a feeding me, honey. God, we're going to be talking about the state of M. I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. A humpback, humpback, I. Yes, sir. Y'all. Mm. Mm. There was a water crisis going on in Jackson, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. It is. I feel so sorry. You know, my heart goes out to all those families. It really, really does. Because, mm, they water ain't no good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all what they say happen. I guess sometime in July, there was some storms there. And uh, possibly some flooding. I'm not exactly sure all the way what happened in July. Mm -hmm. But whatever happened, it was bad enough for them to be running on like emergency pumps already. Mm -hmm. So they were already running on emergency pumps, y'all. Don't give me a little more salt back here. Leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. I know what you're going to say, but I'm the type of person I prefer. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know what y'all going to say. Y'all going to say lips, you're doing this totally backwards. But I'm the type of person. I would rather not cook with salt in the food so I can put salt on the food. Then to salt the food when it's cooking and not have to put some of the food out the word. I know that's backwards. I know it. I know it. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, y'all. I'm sorry. Anyhow. Mm. Whatever happened, I'm guessing in July. Because all it says on mm, when I went to research it was the prior storm the month before. They were already running. Mm. On um, backup pumps. You know, to keep putting the chemicals or whatever they have to do into the water to make the water drinkable and everything. You know, not to be harmful to people. So, mm, 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 mm. You got this good. Mm hmm. Now, it's a good old Mississippi meal, honey. I'm not saying they don't eat them everywhere, but I learned how to eat them in Mississippi. So, but anyway, y'all, and. So when the flooding happened here in the end of um, mm, 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 mm. in the end of August, one of the rivers, lakes, wherever it is, I knew the name of it before I got up here, but now I can't think. But um, one of the rivers overflowed over into, baby, look up the flood. I mean, look up the water crisis in Mississippi so I can get this right. For me right quick. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Hold on just a minute. Y'all, I got to use a little bit of my hot sauce. Because that Louisiana ain't giving me enough heat. I ain't going to put too much up here. <gasps> I ain't going to put too much, but I got to put a little bit up here. <gasps> mm. Um. Let me see right quick. Okay, y'all, so. Mm. Okay, yeah, here we go. Mm. All right, so this is what had happened, y'all. Uh, no, 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 no. Now, this don't tell me what I'm looking Oh, is this here? Yes, it is. Here it is right here. Mm. This is what I want right here. Okay, so y'all did what went on. Okay, uh, late August, the Pearl River flooded due to severe storms in the state, right? Okay, like I said, they were already running off of backup pumps because of storms that had previously happened the month before. Okay, and it said because of the flooding, the, it caused OB Curtis Water Treatment Plant the city's lar largest water treatment facility, which was already running on backup pumps due to failures a month prior, to stop 
the treatment of drinking water indefinitely. Okay, so that's what happened. So basically the floods made uh, the Pearl River overflow and they were already on backup pumps. And you know what I'm saying? So the water plant shut down and stopped being able to treat the water, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. I feel so bad for those people. I really, really do. I feel so bad. And, um, you know, they were saying that, I guess, you know, because people still got to take a bath and stuff. Mmm. Mmm. They were saying, like, you know, you know, for your hygiene and stuff, I mean, you got to have water for it. But they was like, if you take a shower, make sure... You know, you keep your mouth closed, that kind of stuff, because you do not, this water is not drinkable because it's not being treated. Mm-hmm. The president done been there. He already, you know, declared, you know, the water undrinkable and there being a crisis there. So then they are passing out water. You know, and I remember reading that it said that they had been given, mm, mm, every resource available. You know what I mean? To the people there in Jackson, Mississippi. And you know, wherever it was, they were affected at. Mm. Y'all, that is so horrible. It is. Excuse me, y'all. That is so horrible. Like I said, my heart just goes out to those people. Mm-hmm. But at least the federal government has stepped up and did the right thing, you know what I'm saying, as far as what I'm reading. I'm not there, you know, people at ground zero on the ground, mm, they may feel like the government ain't doing enough. I don't know, because I'm not there. What I do know is that's an awful situation. It is. That's an awful situation. You know, because... If you can't, um, if you can't drink it, that means you can't cook in it, and that kind of stuff. So I guess that's why you know they they just giving each home, mm, for people, cases and cases and bottles and bottles and bottles of water and stuff for them to survive and be able to cook their food, you know, and stuff like that. You know, I'm sure everybody in Mississippi, mmm, mmm, mmm. They found a way, like, to get them, like, food stamps and stuff, services. You know, to get them enough food that they can eat and it doesn't have to be cooked and stuff. But I don't know what all they're doing, but I do know that they did respond pretty quickly, you know, to what was going on. So, my heart just goes out to, the, uh, to those people. It really, really does. I know that's got to be a hard situation. You know, some people don't have cars to get to the, you know, certain places where the water trucks are and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that they're going out into the communities. Mmm. Mmm. You know, to make sure everybody's getting water. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Like I said, I'm praying for them. And I know God got it under control. I do. You know? Mmm. Anybody that's there that's going through it, we praying for y'all. We are. We are praying for y'all. Mmm. 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 You know, like I told you guys before, my family is from Mississippi. They are. That's why I'm such a big country boy. Mm-hmm. Of course, when I got of age, I left. I've been gone from, you know, anywhere living in Mississippi, you know, over 25 years now. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, hell. Mm. But my heart is still there, of course. Mm. And I know it's got to be terrible. You know, just like what happened over there in, you know, Flint. With that water crisis. Mm -mm -mm. You know, that's a basic necessity of life. So I can only imagine the amount of despair. Um... You know that the residents there are having. I can. Mm. Mm. But I do know that God don't make no mistakes. Mm hmm He don't make no mistakes. 
And he makes no errors. Mm hmm So I know that he's there and in the mix with the people. I know that he is. You know, because this has happened. Mm-hmm. Mm I can only imagine, you know, how that feels. Not to be able to turn my faucet and get clean water, drinkable water. You know, you got to watch the children, the smaller kids, you know. We got to watch them to make sure that they don't drink it. It just seems like a lot. It really does. Mm mm mm. I just go to show you, you got to stay prayed up. You got to stay prayed up, y'all. Yes, you do. You got to stay prayed up. Mm hmm. You got to stay prayed up, honey. Mm 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 mm. 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 Because you don't never know what the Lord is going to do. You don't. You don't never know. You just got to have faith and be ready. For whatever comes in your path, you got to know that God meant it for your best. God meant it for your good. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm sure this probably wasn't the way or whatever. Like I said, I'm not sure what the government is doing, all what they're doing, because I'm not there, you know. And then, you know, this airplane stuff that went on in Mississippi, it have. Um, now I'm going to have to cut that out. I just pray for them. I do. I just pray for my own. And y'all please be praying for them too if you're not there. You know. Mm. Mm. Hubby and I are going online. Because right? you know there's always sites on uh, PayPal. I know for sure. Mm. So where you can like donate and give aid when these type of crisis and stuff go on. Mm -hmm. We need to look into seeing what we can do. You know, to try to help. And if you can, you know, you do too. Mm, because the federal government, they do what they do. But they don't always mean that they do enough. You know what I mean? They don't always mean that. Mm. No, mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm hoping that they are. I really am. I'm hoping that they are. I know like when Katrina hit, you know what I'm saying, once they got everything set down, you know, they took care of those residents very well for a long time. You know, had them get relocated and send them money for so long, you know, and stuff like that. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. That's just horrible. You know, anything to go on Period. When it comes down to, you know, the bad necessities of life, that's a hard thing. Yeah. You know, that's devastating. Mm, 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 mm. I'm hoping that they can get it resolved, you know, and get that water system back going, uh, you know, pretty quickly. Because it said indefinitely. So, um, because now the main pumps and the backup pumps are both blown. It could take years for them to get that stuff fixed and, you know, engineers to get stuff together. You know what I'm saying? To be able to get that stuff fixed. I hope not, but it could. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe it won't go. Was our Jackson, you know, is the neighbor to Vicksburg, Mississippi. And Vicksburg has those casinos there. So, you know, for that reason, maybe mm, they may be able to get it done quicker. 
you know, because right there, right down the road, mm, you know, Vicksburg pumps a lot of, you know, what casinos are, it's a lot of tax money and a lot of, you know, money generated in those areas. Plus, Jackson is the state capital. Jackson is Mississippi State Capitol. So I'm really, really hoping that they dig in and, um, you know, get those things fixed. Well, like I said, you know, it takes the federal government. They do and they do and they do. But sometimes some things happen such as this here. It may take years. And I mean, I just think it's an awful thing, y'all. My heart goes out to them so mm, deeply. They really do my heart goes out to them so deeply. Mm-hmm. It really, really does. I hate to hear that so bad. Mm-hmm. There's just so much going on in the world. You know, and each thing that happens, compounds, and, you know, there's people that's really, really struggling in this world, y'all. That's the reason why I was on the phone with my aunt today, and she was telling me about this and telling me about that and telling me about this and telling me about that. She was having a problem, y'all, with her dryer. She had to buy a new dryer. And she wanted to buy a new washer. But her washer wasn't really anything wrong with it. She just didn't like the way it worked because she couldn't put a full load. She, or if she put a full load in, in there, you know, if she put a full load in the washer, it wouldn't spin all the water out. You know, they just wouldn't spin it all out. But she could put a half a load in the washer and it would do correctly. It would. And the dryer, she went and bought her a new dryer uh, or whatever and she didn't like it either. She said, well, it don't dry like my, my, my other dryer did. My other dryer, I could put my clothes in here and in 15 minutes they'd be dry. They dry while I was in the shower. And this dry here, I got to run the whole cycle. Uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes for to dry my clothes. I said, well, you know what? There's a lot of people in the world checking back and forth to the lunch man every day. So the best thing to do is just tell the Lord, thank you. <laughs> you know, for real. Whatever way it is, and the good Lord make a way for me, whatever that way is, I just say, Lord, I thank you. I do. Um, everything don't always be peaches and cream and look like I want it to look. And work out like I want to work out, not all the time. It don't. But I still tell the Lord, thank you. Because me and my family, we still making it. You know, we still got a roof over our head. We still been able to eat. We still we still alive. You know, there's always something in every situation to tell the Lord thank you about. Because it could be worse. I don't care how bad you think that you got it. I don't care how bad you think that it is. It could be worse. Mm-hmm. If somebody... Now, most of the time, a whole lot of folks in a worse situation than you in. You just don't know it because you concentrate on how bad your own situation is. Mm -hmm. Think about how many people in the world are sitting back, maybe having problems, paying their rent, or um, their light bills, or water bill, gas bill, and they sitting there thinking that Things can be worse. But what if you are struggling paying to pay your rent, your light bill, your gas bill, your water bill, and you can't even drink the water? You know, it would be worse. That's why I always try to find a way. Or not try to find a way. I saw I'm going to find a way. But tell the Lord, thank you. Mm-hmm. If I'm breathing... Now, I have the ability, and in my right mind, tell the Lord, thank you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell him, thank you, for whatever situation. If it ain't number four, if it ain't my situation right now, I'm going to thank you for what you done yesterday to get me through the day. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm -hmm. And I truly hate it, what they're going through. But it just makes me understand, you know, how he safeguarded my life. You know, how much it makes me be thankful um, for what he's done in my life and yours and anybody else, even the people that's going through what they're going through. Because I had a live the other night 
And y'all know it's been years ago since that happened over there in Flint. And that was the person on my live that was from, uh, from Flint, Michigan. And they said they still ain't got clean water over there. You know? I mean, even if, if they did get to where it was drinkable, maybe it's still brown, I don't know, because uh, it was a guy, he didn't explain, but he said they still don't have good water there in Flint still yet. That's been years and years and years ago. Different situation, but still a water crisis. Mm -hmm. The point to it all is, y'all just be praying um, for all those affected. I be praying that things get better as quick as they can. And make sure that we be praying that this United States government of America will stand there with them people. You know, stand to fight with them and get them everything that's necessary for what has happened to them. That's what the federal government is for. You know, we all pool. And what your taxes is for. We all pool to make this country work right. Mm hmm So if there's a disaster somewhere, they need to get that, get that, get that. You know? But they did respond quickly. Mm -hmm. Um. But y'all just pray for them. And like I said, if you can, you know, everybody can pray for them. But if you can, send something to help them. Y'all do that, okay? Now I'm thinking about him. I'm gonna be. I do. I gotta go to bed. This is my second video of the day because I got, like I tell y'all before, I gotta make sure that I'm ahead uh, because I can't be missing while I'm out, out, out flying the gagging around in Vegas. I can't. My videos have to keep rolling because y'all, I'm ready to get this hundred k. I'm ready to get that, baby. I want that plaque back down. I do. I want that plant back down. And the only way I'm going to get it is to keep on working. Mm -hmm. Keep on seeing these videos out to you. I thank y'all so much for watching them. I really, really do. And I hope you have enjoyed this one because I'm going to go. I do. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I really, really do. So I'm like, Newly Jan, thank you guys so, so much for being here. We really appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You could have chosen me once in the world, but you chose me right here. So we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm existing legion. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. <laughs> bye bye. Oh. Woo! Y'all, we did that. I can eat pig, pig is what it's two o'clock a.m. or p.m. It no matter me, baby. This is my favorite meat in the world. It is. Mm -hmm. I just hate I couldn't slather my hot sauce all over. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'll just decide. Y'all be praying for the residents and the citizens there in Jackson, Mississippi, because they're going through a lot. They are. When clean water don't come out of your faucet for you to drink, you got to be afraid to take a shower and get it, you know, in your mouth and ingest it and stuff like that. Well, y'all, that's a scary thing. It really, really is. Think about it. Think about it. The water that come out your hydrant or out your shower or in your tube or whatever is undrinkable. You got to keep a constant white private tape up stuff so little kids can't get into it and stuff like that. You know, that's a lot. I really, really am. Anyway, y'all pray for them. I'm going to be praying for them. And like I said, if you can send anything, just like myself, y'all do what we can do to, um, you know, try to help just like any other situation that goes on around the world. You know what I mean? I love y'all. I'm going to see you next time. Bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you did one thing, if you didn't push that notification button in that bell, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Here we
Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run on that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Beside the word subscribe, so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of it, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go take for the team. Comment like a share and go take for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't get to come like a share. Okay, y'all check out. We're gonna pray. We're gonna get to the goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over here to the side. The pin is in the building, y'all. There go, there go, there go. The pin is in the building, y'all. Um, here's y'all, you guys, today, Little Ben has diet, sun kids in him today. Also, here we got our lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, look where I'm talking to you, so I blue, hit that link, and right there, you get your lips hot sauce, and your lips merge. Okay, you guys, today, for the food, baby, we got us some of these pig feet, uh-huh, over here, and over here, we got some squash and zucchini mix. That's what we got. Let's get to eating. Y'all, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, honey. Squash and zucchini will be first. That's going to be the first bite. It's buttery. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's buttery. It's good. Of course. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I love vegetables, y'all. I do. I love vegetables. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I just love them. Uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get these feet, this foot up here for you to see it, honey. Let's see if I can get it up there. It's tender. There you go. You see it. Let me get you some hot sauce on there. If I can, y'all. If I can. Oh, look. I'm going to put the hot sauce on the back here. And then put her back up there. Cause baby, it's about to fall out of my hand. It's hot. Oh, y'all can't. Baby, I had dropped my whole pig foot. Oh, my whole foot, honey. Oh. Mm. Anyhow, that lady trying to get y'all some foot with some hot sauce on it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Drop my whole foot. Hold up, y'all. Let me try to get some of this up. All my hot sauce down there. I, oh, there another bone. Jesus. Mmm. 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 Drop my whole foot, sissies. Mmm. Mmm. You hear me holler at you? Holler at you. Did I sound like I had terror in my throat? <laughs> You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> baby, I dropped my whole foot, sis. Is. Man, put in some extra hot sauce on there for Lottie Balls. Yes, sir. There you go. There she blows. There she go. Mmm. 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 Y'all, when my pig foot fell out my hand, mm -hmm. mm. my heart felt with terror. Mm. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. mm. Don't worry about it. Mm. Mm. I'm going to get to these foots. Mm. Mm hmm mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. 
Mmm. 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 Y'all, production and I watched that movie, um, the new Jurassic Park, Dominion. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I didn't care for it. It was all right. It was something to watch, but I didn't care for it. That was just on my mind right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 It was just on my mind. The Jurassic Park extended version. The Dominion. Y'all, it wasn't that good to me. I mean, it was all right. Mm. It was something to watch. But it wasn't that good to me. And I love the Jurassic Park franchise. Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all, this food hot. It's hot. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Y'all, the weather here been creeping back up. Up in the 90s, honey. Creeping on up there. It'll be so hot. Hey, dude, y'all have been being hot. I really have. They've been being hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. I want to meet some PP today, too. I did. I did. Mm-hmm. Mm. I had watched the video. Cole B was eating some. I don't forgot. I forgot to look and see how recent the video was. Because we A B had some. And it made me just want to put some in the pot. Mmm. 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 So here we go. Mmm. Mm. I'll never. Mmm. Mmm. I get enough of PP. I just don't. Mm. I don't never get enough of them. <clears throat> they just so good to me. They just are. They just so good. They wonderful. A wonderful, 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 wonderful. I just don't never get tired of them. I could really eat PP every other day. I could. And you know the pig ear, I like it better, but I can eat the pig feet more frequent. I can. I just love pig feet. Mm. Mm. If you know how to cook them, honey, put on a pit pot of pig feet, baby. I come. <laughs> oh, I have to make sure that you can wash them and scrape them and all that kind of stuff the right way. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. But I would definitely come for some thuds. I love pig feet. This hot sauce hot. Mm. 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 It's burning my lips. Mm. Mm. But I'm also thankful, honey, Carl. I couldn't. I could not. Eat hot sauce there for about a week or two. About a week and a half, for real. I couldn't eat mine. I could eat the more vinegary, vinegary ones, you know, for a little taste, you know. Mm. But I couldn't eat nothing hot there for me. I couldn't. I sure have been telling the Lord thank you too for getting his stomach together. Mm hmm. But so, oh, excuse me, y'all. Mm. Yeah, I'm a little bit homesick a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. I miss Bubby. I miss my folks. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm sure it's only because, or not only because, but I'm sure that it feels so strong to me. Uh, because my mom's birthday is this month. 
uh, and I feel closer to her, you know, being at home. Mm-hmm. 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 You know, my well for me for sure in in the month of September. The hot sauce got my nose running bad. Uh. Oh, that hot sauce hot, and I love it. Uh, but yeah, it's a tough time for me. In Sep- it'd be a tough time for me in September. Mm. February, it's pretty tough. The only thing that helps me in February. Yeah, even though you know I feel great sorrow mm, because of my father's birthday was Valentine's Day, but I'm a little bit more focused in February. I have something to help push me through it because Pusank's birthday is in February. You know, four days after my father. So that kind of helps me push through that one, but. But I don't know the y'all, baby. I'm gonna say this again. If your parents are still here on this earth, man, baby, the way I feel, having lost man, if my parents are still here on this earth, I think I could walk to Tokyo with the same. Mm-hmm. I really do. I think I would walk to Tokyo. We'll see them. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things on earth that we take for granted because it's here with us. But I urge you, mm-hmm. don't take your parents for granted. You only get that one mom and one daddy. Mm-hmm. That's all you get. That's how you get y'all. Mm. You may have others that stand in to help either one of them, you know. But when you grew up in a household and was reared by both your mother and your father, you know, you just don't give it just that one. I understand. There's millions of single mothers that held it down, you know, or whatever, a single father that held it down. The grandmothers that did it. Um, you know, grandparents that did it. Because I know a lot of people. Um, like their grandparents raised them. I know a lot of people like that. Um, and I guess that's all the same thing. But whoever that matriarch and patriarch was, um, you know, that raised you, um, you just... It's just nothing like it in the world. There's just not. You know. I need this drink, baby, please. I know a lot of people that... Uh, mm, where's Louisiana here? Let me taste this too, because this is what I used to eat when I was in at home before I got out and was grown. Because this is what my bought was Louisiana. But um, I just know a lot of people who, you know, lost their parents when they were really, really young or younger, you know, um, you know, before they got grown. And I'm not gonna say it was any better. Um, Cause it's not any better. It was a parent either way. There ain't nothing fun about that. Mm. Mm. But they're just so special. They just are. And to have them you know, on this earth with you, you just don't know how special that is. Mm-hmm. Now, this ain't no Mother's Day or Father's Day video. But I'm missing them. I miss them a lot. And like I said, my mother's birthday is this month. So, um, I keep telling my husband, you know, mm, mm, you know, I've been thinking about, you know, my mom and my dad a lot, you know, today. And, mm, 
No matter what you're going through with your oven, I promise you, it's better than not having to go through anything with it. It is, I miss them so much. I miss my parents. I had good parents. Mm, I did. Um, all parents make mistakes. That's just like me. I'm sure I make a lot of them, you know, with my own daughter. Um, so I can't say everything was perfect, but it was perfect for me. It was. I sit back a lot and I think about, you know, would they be proud of me if they were still alive? And, you know, I think about that a lot. And I really, really do. I'm so, so, so glad that during the time that I did have my mother and father, mm, 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 did I live my life, you know, in an authentic way so that I don't have to worry about or I didn't have to worry about when they left there, they not really know who I am. Mm-hmm. Like I believe it or not, y'all, I know a lot of people. And even, mm, mm, I have a couple of friends that didn't live out their life to be who they are. Until after their parents were deceased. Mm. They felt like they just couldn't, you know, they just couldn't be who they truly were. While their parents were still alive, they felt embarrassed or ashamed. But mm, I'm glad that I felt differently and that my parents made me feel differently and make me feel like, you know, made me feel like that I could be who I was and to be proud of who I was or who I am. Mm-hmm. I miss them so much. I really, really do. But I am proud of that. That I've always, you know, lived in my own truth. And I lived out loud for who I was. Um, you know. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That makes me feel really, really good. And knowing that they left here. You know, knowing exactly who I am. Um, I just wish that, you know, like my daughter, I just wish that my parents were here, you know, to see her grow and be grandparents. I mean, my mother, um, my mother, you know, got to be a grandparent many times over. My mother and my father, they both got to be grandparents many times over before they passed. Um, but... I just wish they were here, you know, because my child is the youngest um, uh, grandchild that they have. Uh, now, of course, Bubby would be the youngest, the great grand, but just straight grandchildren, uh, Pusang was the youngest. And she was only, mm, mm, four when my father passed, five when my mom passed. And I just wish they were here to see her grow into being, you know, the young lady that she's going to be. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think about them so much. Mm-hmm. I think about them so much. Mm. At this point in time in life, after you've lost your parents, it, Things just get hard in your mind and in your heart. Your heart be heavy, you know. I just miss them so much. I and mean, that's the reason why I tell anybody and everybody. Baby, if your parents sit here on this earth with you, you better set aside whatever's going on. Set it aside and live your life, you know, with your parents being respectful and humble and, you know, thankful for them giving you life. Because it's going to come a day when they ain't going to be here, you know. Mm, mm. When you don't hate that you miss the time mm, that if you are missing out on something, you don't really, really hate 
Now, if you miss the time that you did, you really will. I remember the day that we buried my mother and my father. And I remember throughout mm, their services, I remember sitting there and thinking to myself, why didn't I come more? Why didn't I do more? You know, why didn't I? Why didn't I? Why didn't I? And then, the thought in my mind mm, was do would sit there and think about how much time I lost. Mm. And, you know, both my parents were killed suddenly or, you know, went home suddenly. Mm. Mm. So, mm. they weren't sick or anything, or there wasn't time for goodbyes. Mm -hmm. Both my parents just left. I remember both phone calls. My sister called me and told me my father had passed. And I was on the phone with my brother when he found my mother. You know. So, there was no goodbyes. I've like often said that because there was no goodbyes, maybe I got the best part of the deal and didn't have to go through that, but I've also often felt like as well I would have wanted to say goodbye. But I don't know. Y'all, if your parents are still here, and I'm telling y'all, this video wasn't supposed to have nothing to do with this. I don't even know why they ended up this way, but... I just miss them so much. Excuse me, y'all. I do, I miss them so much. And I want to make sure that I tell all of you, whether you're young, old, woman, man, child, don't take your time that you have with your parents for granted. Don't. Mm hmm. We need to be grateful and thankful to God for them and make sure that you give them their flowers while they're alive. And like I said, fortunately for me, even though I didn't get to say goodbye, the last words that I said to both of my parents was, I love you. To both of them, I'm 100% positive, you know. Uh, neither one of them left this earth you know, in a bad place with me, upset, mad, disappointed. Mm. So I still have my memories and I have those things. But if I can't help and can't get through with one person throughout this entire video, no matter what it is that you're going through with your parents, no matter what they done or didn't do or how they do or don't do, mm, mm, mm. If it's anywhere in your heart, that you can find it in your heart, so get over it and move on and forgive your parents so that that line of communication and that relationship is not strained when they leave here. Because no, nobody knows the hour or the minute when the Lord coming. Mm. Mm. Nobody knows. And we take a lot of time for granted. We really, really do. Thinking, you know, hmm. I'll be Google Gaga eyed by my parents when I get older. You may not get that chance. You may not get that chance. Mm. 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 Yes, you may not. So, like I said, if I can't mm, reach and try to resolve but one person's relationship with their parents, if it can be resolved, please do what you can do. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Everything that you can do, it's worth it. It is, it's worth it. And it's worth it. Mm. Mm. Because when they leave here, no matter what it was you was mad about, no matter what it was that you felt like that you couldn't get over to mend the relationship with your parents. Now, I understand everybody's relationship is different. 
I understand that some people are just not going to be able to meet the fences with their parents because of some past things that have happened. I'm saying those that can, if there's any kind of way that you can, mm, mm -hmm, do your best to fix it. Do your best to fix it. Do your best to fix it. Mm. 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 Cause when they leave, they can't come back. We can't come back, y'all. I cannot come back. Mm. 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 Y'all, I ain't gonna get sad. And do all that crying and stuff on this video because I don't even know why I'm talking about my parents on this video because I had something else totally in mind to talk about. But that ain't what came out. So I'm finna go ahead and get up out of here. And I am because I do. I miss my parents so much. And I can't get them off my mind right now. I can't. Um, well, I don't know, like I said, y'all. Regardless of what it is. If there's any way in your heart, you can find a way to forgive your parents and move on or ask them for forgiveness so that you can move on with them. Do all that you can do. Because when you lose them, you don't get another one. You can't get another one. That's all you get. And then one set. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. So anyway, mm, I hope y'all enjoyed the pee pee. I do. I hope you enjoyed the pee pee. Mm, I really, really do. Cause I'm gonna get up out of here. I gotta go. I do. Well, baby, I almost murked all that, honey. Woo! I did. I almost ate all that, y'all. But I'm gonna get up out of here for real, though. I'm gonna go, y'all, because my spirit. Um, I can't lighten my spirit. I'm missing my parents something terribly. I really, really am. I'm missing them something terribly. Um, and I miss them. So I'm saying, if there's anything that you can do in any kind of way to repair the relationship if something's wrong, um, if nothing is wrong um, with uh, your relationship with your parents, make sure that you stay close. Make sure that you <clears throat> just stay close for sure. Stay close, kiss their jaws, take them to the doctor, go get grocery for them. Whatever it is that's needed of you for them, and do that. And do that. Um, do that, y'all. Okay? I love y'all, and I'm finna get up out of here. I really, really am finna go up and go. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. So I'm my new lead Jan. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You get chosen to be the rest of the world. But you're supposed to be right here with us. So we love you for it. Tom existed, Lee Jan. Oh, excuse him. Hey. Hey. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Tom existed, Lee Jan. Hey, right here, around we go. Hey, right here, around we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you set out to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. Yeah. I see y'all. I love y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you. Um. Mm. I hope y'all have a good day. Okay. I hope y'all have a good day. So don't forget what I said, y'all. Don't forget what I said. Any way possible. For you to mend fences with your parents. Regardless of which one of the two it is, what's going on? If there's something wrong, do your best to fix it. If there ain't nothing wrong, 
hug, kiss, do all that you can do for them while they're here, okay? I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Comment, like, and share, and comment. Comment, like, and share, and comment. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Comment, like, and share, and comment. Comment, like, and share, and comment. Your boy done switched up on you. Probably what I'm still gonna do. Probably. <laughs> I'm sure. Probably. I need this one here open up. Let's get a little bit of here where he's supposed to be. All right. All the lights are on. Let me get a little closer though. Oh, 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 don't drop a light. If that fan was blowing it. Okay. It looks good now. All right. Uh, it's still gonna be open in the inside of that too. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run over that subscribe for me. After you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do every day because they help us grow. Guess what them things are, y'all? Those things are comment, 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 like, share, and don't for the team. Come in like a share and don't for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't you come like a share. Okay, guys, check that. We're gonna pray. We're gonna get to the goodness. Here we go. Hey, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today, baby? I'm sure they can hear that fan in there in this video. You guys today. We already pray. Open it to the side. Look, Ben is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. Look, Ben is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let's see if he's nice and fresh. Ah, he is. You guys, today, little Ben has that not to do with him today. Y'all, let me get my fan over here, too. We changed the background and everything, so everything is kind of out of sorts. I certainly apologize. But anyway, over here also we got Melissa Hot Sauce. If you like your bottom, look, we have to talk to Scrooge Blue. Hit that link, and right there you can get your lips hot sauce. And your lips merge. Okay, you guys, today for the food, baby, we got some smoking hots. We have some spicy hog knuckles. That's what we got over here. Hog, what? You know what? Every time I get in the video, I forget what the regular name of it is. I do this every time. they hog knuckles, but they are ham hocks. That's what they call it. I do that every time I get the video. Anyway, y'all, we got hemlocks over here. We're going to spice them up. And over here, we got some more of them Asian cucumbers over here. I didn't tell you everything we got. Let's get to eating. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The Asian cucumber going to be first. There you go. Mmm. 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 You got my stomach is a little better today. So I'm gonna try. Mmm. 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 Mm. The hot sauce still bothered me a little bit. And I wanted to two times spicy, y'all. But I had this one here too in the cabinet. So let's see. Let's make it do what it do. Let's make it do what it do, baby. I'm gonna put some down in here. I ain't gonna put too much. Let me see if I can get it. I don't know if I can get it up there for y'all, the ham hock up there for y'all to see it though. They so tender. Let me see. Here, what I'm at the back, I'm gonna eat now. Ooh. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Mm hmm. Get us some Sam Yang down here. But I need a fork. Oh, I got one. All right, y'all. 
I got the Sam Yang sauce on it. I know it's good with it because I love them with the two times spicy on it, but I went with the one time spicy today because of my stomach. That's gonna be the first bite right there, y'all. That's it. The inside tastes like ham. Mmm. 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 Mmm, that's good. Mmm. I love me a ham hop. Yes, I do. Mmm. Now, I love it with this, with this Sam Yang sauce on it. Mmm. We're gonna eat it until my stomach can't tolerate. Mmm. Y'all know I like stuff spicy? Mmm. My hot sauce, though. Me and my husband were talking. And I told him, I said, I can't eat them hip hop without no spice on them. And he said, well, what you gonna do? I said, well, mm, I think my stomach can take that Sam Yang sauce. Better it came my house out. I like to eat Sam Yang sauce with it better anyway. Mm. Y'all know this is my favorite part of hip hop. It's outside. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's just good. So how y'all doing today? Mm. I'm gonna ask y'all that early. Mm. How you doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Mm-hmm. 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 Me and my family are doing quite well. We are. Woo. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I'm so excited. <clears throat> I was talking to y'all. About Serena Williams and the U.S. Open. Y'all, she won. She won. Serena said, baby, I might be retiring. But, baby, not today. <laughs> baby, Serena went over there and took that thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, the young girl was crying on her interview afterward. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. I hope y'all caught it. Baby. Serena went out in fashion, baby. Yes, she did. Mm-hmm. I think she still has a doubles match or something to do with her sister or something or another. Um, before she just all the way, all the way gone. Mm. But if I ain't mistaken, she said that was her last singles match she was going to play. What better way to go out than winning the U.S. Open, baby? Hmm. Come through, Serena. Mm-hmm. They said that other girl was out right around. Like, 14, 15 years her, her uh, junior. Her girl, Serena, like 40, 41. So that girl was in her mid-20s, huh? Do that there. Mm-hmm. Serena did that. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, she did. She did that. Baby, I was rooting and everything. Because it came on at 7 o'clock. Baby, I was in there. Root for Serena Hine. Uh-huh. Help root on a, another legend, icon. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Serena. Mm. For sure. Mm-hmm. Y'all, you so good. That's my favorite part of that right there. The outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Raymond did that. Oh, yes, she did. <clears throat> I was so proud of her. You know, because even not only the world where her and her sister got started, but even within her family. 
you know, she was the underdog, you know, second out of her. But Serena came on through that thing. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Mm. She did. I was so proud of her. Serena did that. The only thing is, I was talking to Big Mac and Shani on the phone. You love Shani. We said the only thing that we needed from Serena was for her to have had on that cat suit. <laughs> Go, girl. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of her, y'all. I'm really proud of her. Mm -hmm. That is just so inspirational to me. And it should be to you, too. You know, just to let you know, baby, even when the world counts you out, even when the world saying, this can't be, <clears throat> baby, you serve a God that can make him be alive. You can tell him I know you're lying. Hey! <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I created so you a lie. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh, that's good. Y'all, I still want to taste my hot sauce on him. But I ain't gonna push it. I am not gonna push it. I'm I'm feeling it. It's going to get down in there now. So I can be putting them on there on tight. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to feel it down now. Do y'all like ham hocks? A lot of people only use them like for boiling meat, but baby, look at this. Baby, that is just so, so delicious. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, excuse me. A lot of people boil them because they take forever to boil they do, they get them done with all that good flavor stuff come out of them in the water. Mm-hmm. Even when I eat them like this, baby, that water is over there sitting in that pot, baby, to be froze. Freeze that water. You ain't got to stay. That, that's your starter for your greens, honey. Mm-hmm. You cook you some ham hock. Get that water out of them. And freeze that water. Now, when you get your green, now get your green cut up and ready to go. Or pick and ready to go. You gonna throw that water on the stove and throw them greens over there in them. Oh, baby, you don't need no season. Wait till they get done. Almost done, your greens, because the, these here are gonna be done because you done cooked them and got the water in them. <coughs> Excuse me. Even if you ate the ham hocks up like I'm doing. I got to tell you the truth, like, when I get ready to put up greens, like if I'm going to cook a whole bunch of greens, you know, in the big pot to, you know, put up in the freezer for the winter time and stuff like that, y'all, that if you got that, like, even if you ain't got no ham hocks, but you just got the ham hock water, that's good to have, but... Now, if you ain't got nothing you don't want to wait, go to the store and buy you like a ham that you would bake for Thanksgiving. Take it to the man, like the person that works in the back, and tell him you want that whole ham slice. You know what I mean? And slice that whole ham up in pieces. When you, you know, when you finna cook a lot of greens, like to put up. Slice that ham into a whole piece, baby. That's your meat right there. Mm hmm But if you got this ham hot water, hey, have the bell already done for you. Mm -hmm. Country boy. Yes, indeed. Because I don't put the ham hocks at the water here. Let me see if I can let y'all see this one. The ham part falling out of it, y'all. It's big, though. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. The water that come off of that ain't nothing but seasoning, baby. It ain't nothing but seasoning. That's all it is. It's just seasoning. So do not throw your water away, even if you eat your ham hocks like this. Freeze your water. 
Mm-hmm. And if you cook greens a lot, <clears throat> go get you some packs of ham hocks, honey. Got four or five in them. And cook your ham hocks before time. Mm. Like when you ain't doing that. Mm-hmm. Because you eat greens a lot. Get your ham hock and cook them. And freeze the ham hock, the water and all. Bones and everything. That marrow up in that bone. Baby, that ain't number season. And your green, peas, anything you want. <coughs> Wait a minute, y'all. Mmm. Mm. My bad. Sauce and sucking up that salmon yang sauce wasn't working for you. But anything you want that you need boiling meat in, all you gotta do is pre cook it. Or when you do get ready to cook greens and you ain't cooking on, instead of just cooking you two hot hot for your pot of greens, cook you four or five. If you like them, because it takes so long to cook, we got them cooked and freeze them. And freeze them in the water. Mm hmm. Mm. Perfect start on any pot of green. Or peas. Or anything else. Y'all just look at it. Baby. Woo! Baby, baby, baby. Mm. 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 That's good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, baby. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of this limo dab, y'all, because ain't none on this one here. I ain't none on this one here, and I wanted to be a little saucy. Mm -hmm. It ain't hurt my stomach. Not like that. It's getting warm down there. And I'll probably regret it later on. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you no lie. But it's good. I don't think I ate too much. Ooh. I'm gonna take me some antacid pills though when I get off him. So I help coat my stomach. And it's alright. Back to the point, y'all. Like I said, Serena done, done her thing. And that should be motivation for. Everybody. I mean, every walk of life. Very soon. 41 years old. Mm hmm Like that skill performing. Like seeing her brain. <clears throat> Whooping. You know, <clears throat> a player 15 years her senior in their prime. So Ray was doing that thing, baby. He won. I take inspiration from stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I do. And let me know. That I can accomplish anything I want. I want to let you know that you can too. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is put in the work. Put in the work. That's all you got to do. That's it. Even the Bible says, even to be saved, you still got to work. Anything in life you want, you got to work for it. Mm-hmm. Or instead of uh, for what it is that's given to you. Uh, but if it's something that you want outside your, your current circumstances, you have to work for it. But think about it. You even got to work for salvation. <clears throat> the Bible says, you know what I mean? Um, a faith without work is dead. You have all the faith in the world and don't do no work. Work. And it's still dead. You ain't doing no good. You might well not even have no faith. If you ain't putting it to work, you might not even have it. Mmm. Yes, sir. Anything that you want in life, you can work for it and work for it and accomplish it. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. I really don't care. You can accomplish it. You work hard enough for it. Does that include being a millionaire? 
That includes being an astronaut, an airplane pilot. Mm, I love y'all. Slow down just a little bit. Mm, your boy got to go a little bit too fast. Whatever it is in life that you want to be, it don't matter what it is. All you got to do is work at it. That's it. That's the moral of it all. Work at it. And that's what I'm saying. This stuff like this with Serena. Stuff like this in the world, y'all, it just motivates me. It puts me in a mind space to go harder. You know? Good job. It puts me in a mind space to want to succeed more. You know? It puts me in a, mm, excuse me, y'all. It puts me in a mind space of, you know, wanting to vigorously, you know, try to make sure that my daughter knows, hey, baby, whatever you want to be in life, go for it. Go for it. Mm-hmm. Just keep God in your life. Keep God first. Keep praying. And keep your eye on the prime. And keep working. You can accomplish it. For real. I don't care. If you weigh 700 pounds and you want to lose weight and you don't want to have surgery or whatever, you can do it. You ain't got to go on 600 pound life to, to lose 300 pounds. Mm-mm. You got to pay back that thing. And know and stay encouraged that you didn't get 700 pounds overnight and you ain't going to get away from 700 pounds overnight. You know what I mean? But you keep working it. All you gotta do is just keep working it. I don't care if it takes you five years. You just keep being determined, praying for them five years. And one day you're gonna wake up. If you never stop, if you just never stop, one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be lost in 300 pounds. You will. Anything worth having that you truly want is worth working for. Mm -hmm. It is, I know some of y'all saying, God, Lee Lips, how is you eating that with that hot stuff on baby? I love hot stuff. That is the biggest problem with my condition in my stomach. Because I love spicy food. Like, I just, spicy food to me just tastes better than, like, I don't care what it is. To me, it's going to taste better if it has a little, you know, a little heat to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'd be the first thing I'll be depressed about when I'm having problems with my stomach. Um, because it takes away my ability to eat my food like I really want it. Mm-hmm. It does. I hate that part of it. But, I'm going to push it. To, I always push it to the limit. I ain't going to go too far and hurt myself. Like right now, I know I didn't have enough. I do. My stomach is beginning to tell me, you know, hold up. So, I'm going to quit now. Because mm -hmm, I know my body. I know my body. And I'm learning more and more. The older I get, to really listen to it. My husband tell me all the time, um, mm, mm, you good at hearing things, but you ain't good at listening. Ain't that what you said? <laughs> uh, he said you real good at hearing things, but you ain't good at listening. <laughs> at first, I didn't understand what he was talking about. Cause in order for me to hear you, I had to be listening to you. He said, "Oh." Mm. You heard the word came out of my mouth. But you weren't listening at all. <laughs> he said you already were working on your rebuttal and what you wanted to say while you were hearing while you were listening to me, but you didn't hear nothing I said. <laughs> Baby, that man right there, honey. Y'all just don't know. To have been with somebody. To have been in love with somebody. To have been in a committed relationship with somebody almost 20 years. You just can't 
I mean, well, sometimes I can't believe it. I can't. I'm a 20 year with that knucklehead. We're pushing to get there, y'all. We're pushing 20. Won't be long. We'll be at our silver anniversary. That's 25. Mm-hmm. Lord, we can say the same creek don't rise. And we both see him. I pray that we are. I want to live to be, I have our goal. That's 50 years. Woo! Baby. But that's one of my goals. It is. That's one of my goals in life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's such a comfort me in life. No matter what anybody else thinks about it. Mm. To, me in a, to be in a committed relationship with somebody else. for your silver anniversary, 25 years. For real. That's an accomplishment in life. We headed toward it too. Mm. And yeah, I remember the first day I saw him. I remember what he had on. Mm hmm. Do you remember what I had on, baby? No. He can barely remember the date most of the time. But I remember it. I sure do. I remember the first day I met him. Uh -huh. He had a little tight red shirt with some blue jean pants. I don't remember what kind of shoes he had on. I don't. But then he had a black do rag on his head. Because I remember when he first he got in my car. When he got in my car, I remember saying to myself, hey, he didn't even dress up to meet me. You know what I mean? I was like, uh uh. That was quite one. But baby, he was so charming. He was. He was. It was. And it didn't take me but about a week, week and a half. I had fell in love with him. Mm hmm Been many days over these 20 years, though. I said to myself, I should have took my advice when he came out there with that do-rag on and ran. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I couldn't see another person to, you know, you know, raise our daughter with and, you know, Anyhow, y'all, I'm gonna get by him. I kept pushing the part and hit the hot sauce over to the side because I wanted some more that fat. Anyway, y'all, I'm getting by him. I'm gonna go. I ran, I drank. I definitely put nothing hot in my mouth without no drink. I'm rinse it down with. I'm gonna go. Mm. I'm gonna go and, um, um, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go take me some antacid to make sure my stomach gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Mm hmm. And um, watching the TV for real. I'm gonna go, y'all. I love y'all, love you, love y'all, love you guys so, so much. I'm finna get up out of here. I truly, 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 I'm glad that you came to see me today. So, I'm my new DJ. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You could tell me what's in the world. But you should be right here with us. We love you for it. Mm -hmm. Time makes it still legit. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Oh, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love y'all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Woo. Mm hmm. Y'all, it is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. It is. Let us rejoice and be glad in the high. For real. For real, for real. Yeah, I'm going to go, but I love y'all. And I, I hope that you guys, because I kept jumping around on conversations a little bit, but I hope that you all got the message or got the point. 
or the Serena Williams situation. Okay. No matter how late in life it is, if you want it, go get it. Hey, if you want it, if you want it, go get it, baby. I was trying to think of a song to feed, but I couldn't do it. Anyway. <laughs> if you want it, go get it. If you need it, hey, you can see it. If you can see it, you can achieve it. <laughs> I was in there, though. I was spitting bars. Y'all, we love y'all for real, for real, for real, y'all. But remember, anything in life that you like, anything in life that you want, anything in life that you desire, pray about that thing, keep God in the midst, work for it, and you can obtain it. I love you guys so much. I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye.